Okay, I see the Twitch timer is running. I've got an excellent report from YouTube. Now I'm just waiting for, there it is, for the chat window to load. I've switched the live chat on both chats. Hello chat into YouTube. Hello chat into Twitch, verifying that both work properly. Okay, I no longer need this web page. Thank you very much. Let's do my, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm very, very thirsty because I just ate pizza, homemade pizza, which is fantastic. I could eat pizza all the time and never care about it. I mean, never care that I'm eating pizza all the time. I'm perfectly fine with that. So what do we have here? Oh, uh, let's see. So we've got there, let's oh, click that, post, click here and post, click here and post, click here and post, click, okay, where am I? This is what happens when you're posting too many places. There we go, post, okay, I can now close Discord. Discord is done. All right, uh, so now all I have to do is post on the socials, the non-Instagram socials. I already posted on Instagram. Okay, I know I'm live, thank you. Oh, and thank you Instagram for telling me I logged in. I knew that, but I appreciate the security alert. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> so I need to go here, and I need to go here, and I need to copy this, and say copy, go bang. There we go. Paste, and paste. Okay, updating, done. And let's jump over to here. And let me do this. And we will say, okay, and okay. And all right, that is it, right? That's everywhere. Yes, okay, we are done. So put my phone down that for a while and let's move my keyboard I do not need it here right now so that will move my little wrist rest into place so that it can accommodate the iPad on wide uh, uh, what do you call it wide orientation there we go okay so let's switch to okay there we go let's play a little opening we orient the actual image. Yeah, we are next to done with this as far as the last stuff goes. Turn all these colors off. Turn the background back on. And there we go, you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna get another drink of water because like I said, I'm really thirsty. But here's the image. Oh, sensational. So as I said, once I finish, and there really only is the face now, so we're almost at the end here, as far as the glass stuff goes. Once I finish the all the glass, I'm going to colorize it in Photoshop, re-import it, and then start playing around with that. But let's aim to get all the glass done in this particular stream. I think that's very doable. But of course I say that a lot and then, you know, realize that I was uh, being exceptionally optimistic. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and this is only for the face. So I really want to tighten up some of those little lines. There we go, see that? So that you can really see some of the, I don't like a lot of the dark stuff though, because that just reads as black. It doesn't read as, as having any real texture. So I try to be careful with that. But I really want these to have a lot of that line work. Oh yeah, see that's, that's really good. Okay, that's really good. Let's turn off all the other glass just to avoid any confusion. And, oh, this is the, what is all this? Oh, this is all, oh, jeez, I, I didn't label these. Bear with me a minute. Because <clears throat> this, oh, I think I, I think I have to sneeze. Hold up. Whoa. Woo. Man, that was a loud one. I am really glad I, uh. Turn the mic off. Jeez, that that would have blown your ears out. That would not have been not have been good for anybody listening. Okay, so we're gonna call this 
Lagamos glass. Oh man. Oh, whoo, man. That was a massive sneeze. Oh, okay. Sorry. So we're concentrating on the face. This will eventually go into that Lagamos glass folder, but for now, we're just going to keep it out here. So I'm going to go to my extremely large paintbrush because all we're worried about oh, is the face. So everything else can get wiped out. So this is very easy in terms of that. I, can, I don't have to be all that careful. Just do that. And that. And while I'm here, since I already have this huge paintbrush open, why not just do the other layer? Because it's going to be the same. So let's go ahead and clean that up. And we'll clean that across there. And we are set. Okay. So let me drop that paintbrush back down. Because I'll forget about it later. Let's go to a smaller brush. And now we'll... This should be relevant. Now I think... I do have to check one thing. If I recall, <clears throat> yes, I did. Okay, so this is literally just uh, the inner part of the, <clears throat> pardon me, jeez. That sneeze screwed me up. It's just these inner parts of the face. So actually, I'm gonna do a little thing because it's, I wanna make sure I don't, I don't wanna just do extra work I don't need to do. So I'm just going to mark the areas where the glass needs to be. This is on its own layer, so I'll just get rid of this when I'm done. But I just want to indicate to myself where I need to put the glass. There we go. And then all in there. Okay. And then I believe I actually erased. <clears throat> no, no, we're good. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. So now I can pop this back. See, so yeah, now I, I know I know where I am. So it's a lot easier. So let's get this. Ah, I turned all the glass back on. Turn it off. There we are. So we know we don't need. Uh, oh, I was erasing on the, the, I'll call it the mustard layer. So let's just do this really quick so that I can block out all the stuff I don't need, like that I don't need, all right? It's just not necessary, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into any areas where I don't need to because there's just no point. So why, you know, why duplicate work? Work smarter, not harder. That's the that's the phrase, right? Oh, well, I, I went a little bit in here, but I know that that's... Really? Already? That's a good sign. <clears throat> oh, man. That sneeze really messed me up. I mean, that was a hard sneeze, too. That was a hard... Okay, I can't see my thing. There we go. Just in case anybody were to stop by the chat. I'm not expecting that, but... The minute I just go, yeah, nobody's going to come to the chat. I'm not going to pay attention. Somebody will come in there and say, oh, hello, and then I'll feel like a real jerk for not saying hello. So, I'll just make sure I keep that window open. So today was, I, uh, we got a call yesterday, and it was the pet rehab place that we were originally planning on taking our dog to on Saturday, and they said, they called last night and said, hey, we have an opening for today with a vet who has some uh, physical therapy experience. So would you, you know, be interested in taking that spot? Because this vet, she might be able to give you some some better insights on what's going on. You know, assuming that there's something that you know gets found. And I said, yep, let's do it. So kind of drove up, kind didn't kind of, I did, drove up there today. And uh, they took a look at her, and and this is actually a good thing. What they, what this particular this vet who has no connection to our normal vet, uh, so doesn't you know, not friendly with the other vet or anything like that. But what she found was largely, it seems like, what our normal vet found, and I'm encouraged by that because. You know, I was kind of concerned that maybe something was getting missed, but there's really no evidence that that's the case. So we're going to go ahead and get her some physical therapy there. And that will hopefully help along with another one of those. Uh, they, these shots they give dogs now for 
pain management, <clears throat> uh, which, because when I mentioned the actual name of the shot, the vet, this vet perked up and said, oh yeah, that stuff, that, that shot is really good. And she said, so make sure you do the second round of it, which I had read that a lot of, well, I don't know if a lot's the right word, but it said not all dogs respond on the first treatment. You might have to do a few. Um, and you might have to do two before you really see results. So we're going to do that, but I was encouraged by it. She didn't, she didn't find any evidence of anything serious that was missed, which is good. Uh, and also that she didn't seem to see, she wasn't getting indications of anything more serious. It does appear to be arthritis. So that makes me feel a lot better. And this is a really nice facility where they have really neat stuff. So I'm, I'm confident that they'll be able to help her. But like I said, the, the other end is I'm just, you know, I'm just happy that the diagnosis seems to be the same. Not that I want my dog to have arthritis. I don't. I wish... I wish she didn't have anything that caused her any discomfort whatsoever, but that's life. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay on top of her pain management. We're going to do some exercises with her. We're going to get her weight down. And we're going to get her into good shape. So I take today as a good day because that was, that was positive stuff. I was happy about that. Yeah. Like I said, there's, she is getting older. I, I don't like that fact, but it is a fact. It's what happens. It is the absolute worst part of having a pet is the knowledge that at least most pets, you will outlive them. And in many cases, by quite a bit, unless, you know, something unusual happens, like, you know, a car accident or something like that, that, that kills you first. But most pets, you end up outliving. And that's the really terrible part about having a pet. It's, it's tough. There's no other way to put it. It's tough. But like I said, <clears throat> I'm happy that, uh, you know what? I'm going to do one more layer of this because there are a couple of things that I didn't really think about. Where there's some overlap and I want to just, so I'm just going to do this, try that out. You have to be somewhat careful with that because, okay, here we go. All right, so. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's go for the vivid light on there. I'm gonna turn the mustard layer off. I don't really need it now. So yeah, yeah, I was I was happy with, with how today went. <clears throat> it was good. So now we have a plan of action, which also I'm I'm always happy when there's a, a plan to address things. That to me is the best thing is to be able to say, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. This is what we're going to, this is how we're going to fix this. Or if not fix it, at least improve it as much as possible. So, uh, let me just double check something on there. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So yeah, so that was good news today. It's not the most, it was not the most delightful drive in the world. I'll tell you that because she is, my wife is very, very good at getting her in and out of her car. She just, she has it down. My wife has it down on how to get her in nice and easy, get her out relatively easy. I cannot get it that I cannot work it out. It's always a mess. You know, it's almost like it's, it's always, I always feel like, oh, I got to be really careful. I'm going to drop her and. You know, especially because her legs are weak, so I'm trying to keep all the, the weight off her. It's just, and she tries to jump up when, when even when, you know, even even if her legs were 100%, she wouldn't be able to jump up into my car. She just wouldn't. It's too far up. So I, I hate that she tries it. She doesn't wait until I tell her to, to, to even put her feet up there. So that's always an ordeal. And, you know, she was... She's not a dog that enjoys being at the vet, as most animals don't. Oh, hey, Jemria One. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, here, I'll give you a... Uh, sorry, because you can't really see it. So that's the... I don't know how much you... How long you've been here for, but... This is the full image. Let me turn on the glass and all the colors so you can get a good look at it. But that's... It's not done. This is... I'm just putting the glass effects in and getting some stuff in in here but uh and then i'm going to do some coloration on the glass effects excuse me but i'm going to drink of water because i'm thirsty 
But yeah, it's almost done. It's getting there. It just takes time. Because each of these glass layers is just a lot of little work. So that's what I'm doing here. Finishing touch stuff. So. Um, yeah, so today was good. Today was good. I was, I was very happy that they were able to make time so that we could get there. And based on what they saw, I think that's that's a good sign. Like I said, the, the nice part is now we have a plan of action. For me, that's a that's the that's the thing I always like is even if even if the news is bad, as long as I have an idea of okay, well this is what's going on, so how do we how do we try to fix it? If I have that, I mean I'm in good shape. So I feel like we have that. So in a couple weeks we'll be bringing her up there, and we'll start doing her physical therapy, get the X-rays, just to make sure there's nothing being missed. There's nothing additional going on. Could always be. Just like people, and it really is. In the end, it's, it's it's the same basic steps as a person. The only difference is a dog or a cat or another animal can't tell you exactly what's going on. They can't point to something and say. This is what hurts. They indicate it in other ways, but it's, you know, that's one thing if they ever figure out how to read the minds of animals where you can put on a helmet or something and hear what your animal is saying, that'll be one of the biggest benefits is that when something's wrong, you can be like, all right, what's going on? What are we doing here? What's, what's the problem? What can we, what can we do? Don't get me wrong. It won't be a, I don't think it's going to be a dialogue like that. You're not going to be having a, a whole exchange with your animal or maybe you will i don't know lots of stuff that seems like science fiction they end up doing so who knows some someday you might be able to actually have a a full bore conversation with your animal wouldn't that be great it would be for me i would love it that would be fantastic who knows might happen you never know like i said things today are if you go back 50 years, they would say, oh, there's no way that'll ever happen. You're never going to have a World Wide Web. What are you, crazy? It's not going to work. You're not going to have a, a tablet you can draw on. That's what pen and paper are for. Nope. Things change. And they change fast. I don't know if anybody is interested in Apple products and all that stuff, but they did their announcement of all their their upcoming OS updates and improvements and all that stuff. And a lot of people are losing their minds over the fact that there's a, I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's just, called, it might just be called notes. Some kind of notepad application that's on a, on Apple devices, particularly on like the iPad and I don't assume the iPhone, but I, they showed it on an iPad. It looked like, cause they were using an Apple pencil where you can write and it'll clean up your handwriting a lot of people find that to be very useful. I have to admit that would not be something I would ever use. I like my handwriting, even in its defects. I really don't need a computer to clean that up. I understand that for some people that would be a benefit if they're taking notes for somebody else to read. So I, I see the I see the benefit of it. Absolutely. It just wouldn't be something I would need. Oh, you know what? Let me do this. I have a couple of overlaps here, so let's get rid of these overlappers. Let's go ahead and get rid of the middle eye stuff here, because that overlaps on two sides. So we'll use that third layer that I created for that. But I mean, the tech is neat. It's, it's, it's neat what it's doing. I can certainly appreciate that it's very, very neat looking when it does that correction on somebody's handwriting and basically cleans it up for them. Like I said, it just wouldn't be for me. I tend to, I mean, I write in giant block letters anyway, so I don't really need much cleanup on my stuff. <laughs> my stuff's pretty easy comparatively. Okay, so for this one, actually, all that's really missing, um, you know what, let's do, is this this one, this one. Let's go into this one. And let's do this, make this different in the, in the this center part and then that's really all I should need from that third layer is the outer parts of the eye 
yeah, that's that's it, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So just the outer, all I have to leave is the inner kind of area of the eyes in this one here, and the the inner ring. So, oops, wrong layer, sorry. There we are. So get rid of that, Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Oh, there's that much line work in there, so I don't know if this even matters to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because, you know, why not? I'm already here. And then all I have to worry about is this inner part of the eye. So basically just that segment right there. And everything else is already done. So that way we don't have any overlapping areas. And we'll be good. As far as the glass, that might be the end of it. We might be at the end. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at this. Celebrity on the stream, everybody. Unbelievable, Mr. Ant Pruitt, photographer, podcaster. Uh, what else? ZDNet author, um, videographer. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, that's probably enough, right? Was that four or five things? Is on the stream. Well, Mr. Pruitt, thank you for coming by. Oh man, now I feel pressure to actually be interesting instead of just sitting here rambling into nothingness like I usually do. Two people. Wait, I shouldn't say that. Two people. Jen Rio One is on the Twitch side. I've got Mr. Pruitt on the YouTube side. Wow. Without a doubt, the most, the 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 biggest stream I've ever done. Two simultaneous people, and one of them isn't my sister. So I'm doing great tonight. It's a it is a happy Thursday, boy. You know, that's somehow that's sometimes how it goes. When things are going well, they just kind of go well everywhere. So, welcome, Mr. Pruitt. Hey, c compared to me, you know, you, you were on, uh, uh, you were part of one of the uh, most prestigious tech outfits there was. There was. Why am I saying was? Is. Creator at large. Yeah, okay. Creator at large then. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I am um, happy that you've got your uh, your new place set up and you're through. I have not listened to. Oh, uh, I'll give a plug after I get a drink of water because I put a lot of salt on my pizza. Hold on. Mmm, man, ice cold water. I know people like soda and alcohol and all that stuff, but I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you when I'm really thirsty. Nothing, nothing beats ice cold water. So a little bit of a plug for people. Uh, Mr. Pruitt and his wife do a podcast. Now I do try to keep this a fa family friendly stream. So I will say if you just do a search in whatever podcast app you use for uh, Aunt Pruitt Everyday People, that will probably... Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's YouTube. But if you look for Aunt Pruitt Everyday People and you will probably find it. So, yeah. Yeah. Water's great. I do, I do love water when I'm really thirsty. Okay, I think I can get rid of the mustard lines now. I think at this point we are done with all the glass layers. Let me turn off the background. And I think we've got it all. And there are no repeaters in here, which is good. So meaning that every piece of glass with quotes around it is not bleeding into the other one with the same patterns. Yeah, so there should be clean breaks everywhere. And it does appear that we've got that happening. Yeah, oh, I do, oh, I forgot there is, whoa, whoa, see, I missed that. Oh, I gotta fix that, uh, that can't be. So that's gotta be in the chain glass. Yep, there it is. Gotta fix that. That's why the problem with that is because I made it white. It's tough to see it, but I can see the edges there. I missed these edges. So let's clean those up real quick. And this is what I mean about the glass part can be, I missed something there too. This is where you see it all. This is what happens is you're seeing all the little, because there are so many pieces of glass in this thing. I bet you it's one of those. Probably one of these. Hold on. Oh, maybe not. Is it not? Oh, it wouldn't be the yellow, I don't think. Hold on, let's just. No. 
All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, it was. I missed the little piece of yellow. Wow. Well, thank you, Mr. Pruitt, about the detail. Uh, I don't have the, the setup uh, like you do where I can... I know there's a way to make the text display on the screen. I just, I have to figure it out. Yeah, this one is, uh, yeah, the, the, honestly, the, um, the glass parts have been the, the tough parts because they just, you know, and, and clean up like this. See that edge? Stuff like this. This just drives me crazy. I mean, because, because I just, I have to fix it all. Um, but it's not, you know, it's, it's, I like this stuff. This stuff is fun for me. Because, I, I don't know, I just, the, the detail work, I'm not going to pretend it's always fun, because it's not, and that would be a lie. Uh, I, I was complaining quite a bit in, oh, I, I want to say two, three streams back, when I was doing the, which piece of glass was it? I think it was when I was doing the, the chain glass. I mean, it just, it takes a long time. It's a lot of that. And honestly, uh, a lot of it, too, that nobody would ever see but me. Nobody's going to see that little smudge I just got rid of there, but I know it's there. And the other thing too is because I don't, I don't have a, uh, I can't print. I don't have a print shop. I don't have a way to make shirts of my stuff myself where I could make it inexpensively. So I put my stuff on threadless as far as, as these designs where it comes to shirts. Right. And that's not cheap. I mean, threadless is not, terrible expense wise and the quality is pretty good but nonetheless you're going to be paying a good amount of money for a shirt well if you're going to be paying a good amount of money for a shirt then i'm going to try to make that thing as, cl as clean as possible i want this piece to be as clean as i can get it even if you're not going to see it because i don't know i just that would bug me if i thought i was being lazy about it i mean I, don't get me wrong i may miss some things there may be parts where i, I miss things not intentionally but i might miss it because my eyes suck just went to the eye doctor. Oddly, my right eye got better. My left eye got worse. So explain biology to me. Don't bother because I suck at it. I'm never going to understand it. So I have one eye that's getting better and the other one that basically at some point is just going to fall out of my face and I'll just have, you know, single vision. But, you know, I'm trying to keep an eye on this, this thing. And that's what I mean is I might miss something unintentionally. But yeah, this is a... The glass part is definitely the... This one doesn't have a lot of small lines. That could be tougher. This really doesn't have, I, I stuck with kind of big solid lines, which I tend to like anyway, better. Uh, but the glass parts, that's where there's a lot of coming in here and cleaning up little small stuff that, I don't even know if this shows up on the stream very well that you can even see what I'm erasing. You might not be able to really see it because it's, it's light and it's small, but that's where all the real detail stuff is. The actual image itself was, you know, fairly, straightforward. I, won't, I don't want to use the word easy. I, I don't know if that would even apply, but yeah, I kind of figured out the pose and everything pretty quickly for it. I knew I found some good reference images. I kind of had the idea in my head and I was able to find some, a couple of good uh, photos of people that were, it's not hard to find pictures of angry people. <laughs> so that's, if you're looking for a, a wealth of reference images for drawings, Draw angry. Oh, look at that. I screwed that up. Look at that thing right there. Well, we can't let that go. Okay, so let's see. Mr. Pruitt says, I have progressive lenses, and it's odd getting used to that when I'm editing. My monitor is not quite close enough for close vision, and not quite far enough for... for yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of... You know what? Um, It's funny. My optometrist, I believe is the correct term. My opt Oh, before I forget, I have to fix this. I can't just let that go. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to do this... I'm going to do the, this is a shortcut way of doing this. So, but hey, so, you know, as long as it works, who cares? So let me turn all this stuff off. Turn everything else. Okay. Everything else glass wise off. I'm going to turn, I'm going to replicate that layer. Turn the other layer off. Now I'm going to move this layer to, let's see. Oh, I, <laughs> I replicated the wrong layer. Never mind. I need to replicate the actual, the same layer. Uh, yeah, so my optometrist basically told me that. Oh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Pruitt says I have to nod and tilt my head sometimes to look at details closely. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I'm I mean, I've had terrible eyes my whole life. My eyes have always been awful. Um, they're not getting any better because, uh, sadly, that's not how age works. So they're not going to get any better. 
I already know that. Okay, so now, before I forget, because I will screw this up. So give me a second, I'll complete my thought. Assuming I even had a complete thought. Um, so she said, she said, well, you can go to uh, progressives or bifocals, whatever the, the correct term is now. I think it's the same thing. And she said, but I don't know. I don't think you need them. She said, unless you're doing a lot of, she was specifically talking about reading. You know, if I was moving books back and forth a lot. And I don't do that. When I read, I can keep my, I can keep the book. Wait a minute. Did I just erase the thing I was correcting? <laughs> did I? Wait a minute. Did, wait, how did I? Hold on a minute. I think I erased the thing I corrected. <laughs> Where's the thing I fixed? Oh, gee. I, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right, hold on. I got to turn it back on. Uh, where was that? Oh, look at that. I missed that whole section in the hand. Well, it was a good thing I did this. I guess this was a... You know what? As I've said the whole time, you want to see how I actually work. You're seeing it. It ain't pretty. But that's that's what I do. <laughs> Where's the thing? Oh, jeez. Come on. Really? I missed that. Well, it is, this one, I'll, I'll give myself a bit of a pass on this one. This is white, so it's hard to see it. Where? Oh, jeez. You kidding me? And, and to think I said, oh, I think we're almost done. Yeah, sure we are. Uh, let's see, here we go, correct that. Not that, not again, nobody would even see that, but I don't want to be sloppy. Nope, oh, a little bit, a little bit of an edge there. Let's get the smaller brush and let's just work that out. That's okay, I gotta go to the other layer. Yeah, this is the stuff that takes forever, is all the little cleanup stuff. It just, it's just how it is. Oh, chup, sorry, it does, uh, the screen thing dropped out. Sorry, give me a minute. I just realized that. It's the only thing I have a real complaint with with this setup is this reflector program is really good most of the time, but it drops out periodically, so I have to kind of pay attention. You should be seeing it again now. It's showing up on my, I don't know what you call that, a monitor? Or my pre-monitor or whatever it is. Um, so you should be seeing this again. I mean, you're not really missing much, believe me. I'm just cleaning up a little stuff, but I have to find now that one thing that I missed. But since I'm now seeing a bunch of other little th mistakes, or misses, whatever, I'm fixing. You can see it now, right? Oh, only seeing your logo. You're not seeing the work? Oh, okay, all right, good, I was gonna say, yeah, there is there is a slight lag to it, so. Uh, yeah, I'm basically, what, what you missed, again, with gigantic quotation marks around it, is me just cleaning up all this little garbage that I missed. Uh, oh, I did it again! Ah, I saw it that time, hold on. I don't know why it's being so bad this time. Of course, people show up and, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So you should be seeing it again. I'll give it a second so it catches up. Okay, there we go. That, now you should see it. I don't know why. I have not been able to identify a reason for why that happens. It's not processor like it was when I was using the Twitch thing. And the, I mean, I'm updated as far as the actual... Um, what do you call it? Reflector thing. Oh, the replicator hack. Oh, you're going to see it again. Don't worry about it. I, I have to do it again because I lost it. So I'll show you. Oh, no, no. You didn't miss anything. I mean, you didn't miss anything. I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you right now. Okay, so let me find that link. Where is that link? Let's find it. I'll try not to give everybody vertigo. Ah, hold on. I can't just let that go by. I can't just let that go by. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where? There was one link. There it is. Okay, here's our link. So now I'm going to memorize where it is. So, okay, good, screen's still showing. So it's at the bottom. <sighs> you, you, uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm not gonna let this, I'm not gonna let this drive me too crazy. Okay, got it. All right, so, uh, where'd that link go? It was down here, because I said it was down near the lamp. Where'd it go? I just saw it. Hold on, oh, there it is. Okay, so basically it's almost due south, if the image is oriented like this. So, we're gonna take I'm not going to even bother with that because that, that'll just screw me up. In fact, I think I have a better way to do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're fixing this. That is a mistake. That should not be missing. So we're going to duplicate the exact same layer. And what I'm going to attempt to do is, let's see if just rotating. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to just graft this into here, right there. Okay. 
Now the important thing is, and this is what I screwed up last time, is I'm gonna erase around it so that I know which one it is, so I can just leave this one, okay? So there, oh, hold on, did that, did I miss a small corner of it? Oh, we did, but that that's okay. I can make up for that. Okay, it's still showing the screen, right? Yes, it is, all right, good. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a smudge for that. That covers that up nice and easy. Just clean those edges. Okay, so that is the only, that there, is the only thing that stays. Everything else goes. Everything else goes. Just make sure I don't accidentally erase it as well. So I'm just using the giant paint eraser to get rid of all the other lines. Because there's really no reason for me to redo the... I mean, before I had a brain working, I probably would have redone this entire thing. Which is really stupid. There's no reason to redo the whole thing. But I would have. Because that's how I did things before. Where I was just like, no, no. If it's not right, you have to redo the whole thing. That is not a good way to work. So anybody, don't do that. You know, especially with something like this where it really doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna turn the one I'm fixing back on. And I'm just gonna get rid of, oh yes, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong layer, thank you. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Now we pop this back in. As you can see, we have now healed, because it's not Photoshop or I could have probably done a healing brush thing. I have healed the link. So now I'll just do a merge down. And now we have a unified chain Turn the other one back on, and there we are. So now we should be in good shape for everything else. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just do a little bit of, just gonna do a slight bit of spot checking. Okay, so let's turn everything back on. So colors, glass, colors, glass, colors, glass. Okay, so there's our chain. So the only one left. Oh, let me, let me group this. Turn the glass, face glass back on. So we'll group this and we will call this. Actually, no, 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 I don't need to group that. No, 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 no. That's the face. It is face glass, but it is part of Lagomos. So it goes into Lagomos glass. Why am I overcomplicating this? That way I turn everything off at once. There we go. So do not need to group that separately. At least I don't. So now the only glass that's missing is in these power halos. So basically, of course I would pick the same color. So basically, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot I selected a group, my fault. So in here, so there's no, I need to put something in there. So let's, I'm going to keep that relatively simple. I don't need that layer, it's an empty layer anyway. I'm gonna replicate this layer and Hmm. Mm, yeah, okay. Let's do a liquefy. Let's really swirl this up. Give it some nice texturing in here. There we go. And I'm still going to add other stuff to it too, but that's just the starting point. So let's bring that in. Let's just move that around until I got it where I like it. Which I don't quite have it there yet. Nah, it's getting too... Oh, okay. Oh, nah, that's... It's not how glass would look though. It wouldn't have that kind of swirliness to it, I don't think. That's better. Okay, it's still a little, it's a little on the thick side, but I can, I can live with it. Okay, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. So now, we'll take the paintbrush and I'm not gonna do the halo in there. I just, I'm struggling with this one. Because I like the idea that the glass in there is fine. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to put that halo glass. I'm just going to do it for the empty spots. I just don't I just don't think it's going to look good on top of other stuff. I just don't think it will. So I'm just going to go ahead and make an executive decision. Because honestly, I think it's still going to look fine without that. So we'll just go ahead and clear all this out. All this out because we don't need anything in these areas. So... I'm using the big super brush because that way I don't have to worry about the corners as much. I can just clean the corners out. And there we are. And there we are. All right, so now, because I'm probably going to color this differently for now, I'm going to suck the saturation out of this and, yeah, push the brightness down. I'm going to turn all the other glass off so I can get a clear look at this thing because... This is gonna be a mess if I'm trying to look at it on top of other glass. Turn the background on. Let's turn all the colors off. Let's just make this 
Simple as possible. So, okay, let's see. Uh, Mr. Pruitt says, big difference liquefying on the glass. Nice touch. Yeah, that was, um, was uh, that was an accident, really. I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. When I, um, when I did the original image that started me doing stained glass stuff, I really couldn't figure out how to do it. So I just started literally taking every non-standard brush, anything that looked weird, and just doing all different effects, like Gaussian blurs, all this rest of it, and nothing looked like glass. And then I looked at the liquify thing, and I think I, honestly, I think I probably just got angry. I think I just got really irritated at the fact that I couldn't figure it out. I just started like, you know, bashing it virtually, you know, what, what like a child would do with a Sharpie when he gets upset at a drawing, like, ah, you know, because I am just a large child. And I think I was like, oh, okay, that kind of looks like what glass looks like. And that was it. I'm not going to pretend it was some kind of revelation of how to best manipulate the, the tool that I was using. No, come on. That's, <laughs> I, 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 could, I guess I could pretend that I was clever, but why? <laughs> You'd know I wasn't once you watched me do anything else. So why, why, uh, why set up an illusion simply to break it later? So no, that's that. That was the closest I came. It's interesting. I, I will say, I've seen other artists who do stained glass type of stuff. It's really interesting how many different approaches there are to it. I mean, it's like anything. Uh, different artists have different ways, but I, I've seen people who do these really kind of intricate and what must be exceptionally time consuming ways of doing glass and it looks beautiful don't misunderstand i'm not saying I, I, they, they're they're overdoing it or that they're putting in effort that that isn't paying off it looks great but i've seen equally great results out of people and i've seen them kind of describe how they do it it's very very simple so it, it really is just you know the thing that that is continually astonishing to me and and wonderful to me about art is the fact that it allows for so many different perspectives and, and different ways of approaching something. And there is no right way to do something. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. Uh, let's see, Mr. Pruitt says, that's how I get with fractal noise and video editing. Nine times out of 10, I can use that effect for whatever look I want to achieve. And it's such a random effect. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's, that's where the trial and error aspect of creativity, and, I, and I've said this on some other streams where I've told people, don't get upset if you make something and it isn't exactly what's in your head because it doesn't mean that there isn't a value to it. That doesn't mean that you can't look at it. And in a lot of cases, one thing that I think is, is a really smart thing to do, in particular with, with illustration type of stuff. Now, I don't know if this would really apply for photography, but you can tell me that, Mr. Pruitt. You can tell me if there's some aspect of this that applies to photography. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But for me, there's a value in, like, let's say I screwed this up. Let's, or I did something and I got to the end of it and I went, ah, okay, I just spent 30 minutes on this thing and I, and I have done this exact thing. So I'm not gonna pretend this, this type of thing hasn't happened. And I get to the end of it at 30 minutes, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't like this, but I can't, I, I don't wanna work on it anymore. And then I will, instead of just erasing it, or reverting the changes, I just don't look at it for a couple of days. I just won't look at it. And there have been a couple of times, most times this doesn't happen, but it does happen. So it, that's why I keep doing it. It has happened, I should say, and that's why I keep doing it. There have been a couple of occasions where I've come back and looked at it and said, okay, now that I haven't been staring at it, now that I wasn't locked into this conception I had of what this should look like, I actually, it's not that I necessarily liked it, but I saw a value in the mistakes or in the, in mistakes the wrong word. I saw a, a value or a, a way of doing something, even if that wasn't, even if it didn't fit this image, it gave me an idea for something else. And that's, that's what you mean about, you know, just messing around with effects, messing around with different media, you know, uh, let's see, Mr. Pruitt says, boy, does that sound familiar? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a common, I really do think that's a common thing. And I, and I, and I feel like a lot of, cause I took a lot of art classes when I was younger because you know, I was sure I was going to get out of school and be an artist. <laughs> what a fool. So I, you know, and I remember that most art teachers, the way that they taught art was here's how you do this. 
this is the technique. And I remember, and I've told this story before, I had a art teacher who, I, didn't, I don't remember what the assignment was. I don't remember anything as, as far as the, I, I remember what the teacher said to me, which tells you something about the teaching style. I remember this teacher looking at something I did and saying, yeah, I don't want you doing that cartoon crap. I remember that quote, like somebody cut me with a knife. I remember that so well. And it was just very demoralizing because that, and I was too young to understand this. Was, this was when I was pretty young. But now I look at it and I'm like, yeah, if I was ever a teacher, that's exactly what I would never say. I'm not gonna say something to somebody to make it that what they're doing doesn't have a value. Unless I know that they're intentionally doing something because they don't care or don't wanna put forth the effort, you, that's different. But if somebody's making an effort and it doesn't look the way I would do it, that somehow means that there's something wrong with it. No, I have a, I have a huge problem with that. I'm not saying that there aren't times where there is a right way to do things. You know, if you're building a nuclear device, there's a right way to do things and you shouldn't decide to do it however you want or you might blow your face off. Like that's, there are definitely times where, yes, we follow these things because we're working with acid today and if you just dip your hands in it, you won't have hands left. Art isn't like that. Creativity doesn't work like that. Creativity thrives in somebody looking at something and saying, no, I don't look at it the same way everybody else does. That's the most interesting stuff a lot of times. Doesn't mean I love all of it. I've said it before, I will say it over and over as an example. I hate Jackson Pollock's work. I can't stand it. It doesn't look like anything to me except that somebody sneezed on a paint bucket. But I'm thrilled that it's out there. I'm glad lots of people like it. I'm genuinely happy that people can look at that and get the exact opposite reaction I do. That gives me more hope than most other things in this day and age is the fact that art can strike different people in such fundamentally different ways. And that's what I mean about, I, I don't look at any art that is made with effort and intention and sincerity, and I can't look at anything like that and say, that's nah, bad, you didn't do it right. No, of course, what is, there is no right. And I, I, that's what I mean about, I remember that teacher. I remember that teacher saying that because now I look back at that and I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't be teaching in our class. That, that's really the, uh, no, no. You should be teaching some kind of industrial class, engine rebuilding. Yes, okay, you can't, I'm gonna make up terms. I know the terms are real, but I don't know them right. You can't mount the spark plugs inside the crankshaft. Like, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's, that's actually doing it wrong. That will not cause, that will cause a car not to move. So there are definitely skills and, and fields that, yes, there is a right way to do it. Art is not it. That's, that is, that is where the opposite should be encouraged. Okay, here's, you know, if somebody really wants to do fine art, oil paintings of still life stuff, that's fine, they can. And you could teach them that. Okay, that's what you want, then we'll show you how to do that. But there's just as much value in saying, okay, Here's a bunch of oil paints. I want you to just make something up. Just throw the colors around, close your eyes and move the brush. Just do stuff, put on your favorite piece of music and try to paint it without having your eyes open. Stuff like that, because you just don't know what's gonna happen from it. And that, that to me is an interesting thing that, that you don't get in many other, cre you know, creativity allows for stuff like that, that, you know, engine rebuilding doesn't often. I mean, you can make custom cars, but fundamentally combustion engines work a certain way. You're gonna have to have timed explosions to make the pistons go to make the car move. Like you can't, well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I guess somebody probably has made up a car that doesn't work that way, but then it's not a combustion engine. You know what I mean? A combustion engine is a combustion engine. So it's just the way that it works. Whereas there is no, here's how to paint outside of things like, you know, what do you call it? Oil takes a long time to dry. So be aware of that. But even that, even that people mess with. There are people who do like wet on wet oil. And then there's other people who, who do like long dry stacking of oil paint so that they can get almost what the acrylic effect is. Cause acrylic does that. You can just stack and stack and stack it. Um, Mr. Pruitt says keyword you said is fundamental. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's always the basics. Yes. As, and here's something you'll identify with immediately. 
you know, uh, if you're going to do photography, you probably should understand what an f-stop does. You probably should understand what ISO means. Yeah, those things, the basic underlying structures, sure, you have to know how, how that works. You know, if you're going to if you're going to draw with a pencil, uh, you're going to need to know how to sharpen it and how to erase it. And, you know, the fact that it smudges outside of that, though, go wherever you want. Uh, let's see. So I don't, I don't know why YouTube puts that thing. OK, here we go. So Mr. Pruitt says you can fundamentally paint a square. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, you probably should to get an idea of whether you like squares. I like certain geometry. Squares are not particularly for me. I like circles. I like triangles. So to some degree, painting basic shapes may reveal to you that you have a real thing for squares. I mean, that's, uh, what's the, uh, oh, what's that artist, Rothko? I think Rothko did the big squares with the lines in them or whatever. They're, they're all over the place. It might not be Rothko. I'm probably screwing that up. But there, I mean, there's somebody who painted a giant red square. Remember, I looked at it and I'm like, okay, I'm sure this is meant to be an expression of the artist's dissatisfaction with the way that their mother didn't buy them a tricycle for their eighth birthday. But to me, it's just a big red square. Again, that's just me. You can see whatever you want in it. That's what's great about art. But yes, there are definitely fundamentals. Although, there are artists who are completely self-taught and have made up their own stuff. So again, that's, that's what I like about it so much. Is it such, it is, no pun intended, but I guess pun intended, it's such a wide open canvas for people to really put themselves into something in a way that it's remarkable. It's just remarkable when you think about what art allows people to be able to do. It really, it, it's, it literally stops me from being able to think when I consider how much power there is in art for people, what people can do and, and how they can express themselves and how in some ways they can fix themselves or they can they can live in a way that maybe they can't outside of the, the artwork they make. They are able to exist in a space as their true selves in a way that they couldn't somewhere else. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy when you think about it in that, and I'm not trying to go out into, you know, cosmic deep space meditation thoughts or anything, but it, it is astonishing. It really is. It's, it's amazing. I was just talking to somebody who's a, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Mr. Pruitt comes through with a pun, pun for pun, hashtag pun for pun, or hashtag's a thing with, uh, with YouTube chats. I guess they must be. Photography is polarizing. Yes, it is. You know, I'll tell you something I like about photography. I like people who use those infrared lenses. That's some neat stuff. I like that infrared look on things. I don't know why I said that. It just happened to occur to me. It's something about photography I like. I've, I've messed with it like once or twice in my entire life. It's really neat, though. I like it. Okay, so let's see. I think now... So that would be, this should go in radiance glass because that is technically part of the radiance halos. So we'll put that right there. Okay. And now, finally, I think I can say with certainty that we have got all the glass elements in place. There are no overlaps that I can easily see. Oh, that 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 is, because you might it might not be showing up there. Let me fix that. That is not that one. Oh, that's the that's the coloring. So that would be in the radiance colors. Yes. Oh no, it's not. Where is that? Where is that coming from? Lamp colors? Lamp colors, got it. Okay, so in lamp colors. Yes. In lamp colors, this, if you look at it with the multiply layer on, see, that's that's why the ones behind it. Wow, that's really weird looking. Oh, Mr. Pruitt, I need to step away from the screen. Mr. Pruitt, I'm going to get outside and get some air. Be well, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Pruitt. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Thank you for coming by and chatting for a bit. And uh, I appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to hearing the latest podcast. So you be... You be well as well. God, I did that some other time too. I hope you are well. Jeez, I can't even. I hope you're well also. There we go. But again, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night, my friend. Have a great night. So yeah, the, and I'm pretty much, oh, I'm at 55 minutes. So there's only a few minutes left in the stream anyway. So this is good timing. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this. 
I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this. I got to figure this out because I don't want to just have it be, I don't know. I got to work this out. I mean, maybe I can just do something like that and just have different colors inside. It's interesting. It might work. I mean, I don't have to decide right this second, but I definitely want to do, ooh, not that, not, mm, no, 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 huh. I don't hate that. I do not hate that. Oh man, I don't hate that either. Ooh, huh. Wow. Man, I'm kind of digging that. I kind of like what that's doing. I'm not completely sold on it, but I'm sort of at first first hit liking that. This is actually a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. I'm going to leave this as is. I'm gonna stop now. Because I've basically got all the key elements in place. Everything's there. So at this point, I'm going to stop. And I'm not gonna look at this again for at least a day. I won't look at this again until Saturday. And I won't, that way I just come back to it with a fresh pair of eyes and see what I wanna do. But I, cause that, that, this here looks interesting to me. I would not have thought to do that. That's really an accident, that's an accident. That's just an accident. So I'm gonna step away from it now. Great, great time to bring the stream to a close anyway. So let's go ahead and bring up the Be Right Back screen. That is my closing thing. Cause that's a good place to leave it. I like, I like the idea of just letting that sit and seeing what I feel or how I feel about that when I come back to it. That's what I mean. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do is get to a certain point and stop. That's why I, I know people who will work six, seven hours on something. I don't think I could do that. I, I like working in these kind of short bursts because it allows me to sort of step away from it, reevaluate and get an honest look at it. So, well, thank you, Naren. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming by. Uh, thank you very much. I really, seriously, I, I, I'm always surprised that anybody stops by for these things. So I really appreciate you saying that because I'm just doing my little drawing stuff. You know, I don't, I don't, I never really expected to be all that interesting to people. So I'm really, really legitimately, I'm very grateful that people stop by and, and like to watch it. So anyway, that's going to be the stream for tonight. Um, so I will plan to be back probably on, I'm trying to do Tuesdays, Thursdays. I'm doing pretty well at staying consistent on that. And so generally around this time, if, if other weird times pop up, I may do impromptu shows just because I know people are in different time zones and I wish I could accommodate everybody's time zone, but I just can't. But if I do have these odd pockets of time, then you may see a notification that pops up. But generally Tuesdays, Thursdays around this time are what I'm aiming for, 6.30 p.m. Pacific or 6 to 6.30. But, you know, sometimes it may work out some other time. But in any event, I do post all these on the YouTube channel, so you can always watch them later if you're interested and see how the progression of these things. And I will, all these images I work on where I'm doing them beginning to end, I will also be making the time-lapse videos that I've made for some of my other stuff. So you don't have to watch every single stream to see it beginning to end. The time-lapse the time -lapse will get posted, and it's going to be, you know, no more than 10 minutes if it's even that long. So you don't have to watch all these streams again if you just want to see the process quickly. Sorry, for some reason, boy, I almost burped into the mic, but I'm glad I didn't. I was able to suppress that. That's probably another good sign that it's about time for me to get going. So again, whenever you watch, however you watch, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate people coming by. Go be creative. All that stuff I was saying about the power of creativity, I absolutely believe it. I believe it more every year I'm on this planet. And the more I do of it, and the more I see what it can do for people, the more in awe I am and really grateful that I can do anything creative. But the truth is everybody can be creative. There is, you do not need to be able to do anything in their professional level to be able to do creative expression and get something out of it. So try it, whatever it is, try different things till you find the thing that makes you happy to do it and do that. And on that note, uh, insert boilerplate language here until I can think of something more clever to say. And until the next stream, once again, thank you for coming by and watching and chatting. And until next time, try to be creative because it's good for you and take care.